So here's an addition to your dust collector that I think you will find very interesting. So recently I have wanted to add on to my dust collector so you don't have to change the bags as often. So I went and I purchased a garbage can number one and then I purchased this off Amazon from uh, Peachtree. I'll leave the link down below and it's going to separate the big stuff from the little fine really really fine stuff so it prevents it from going through the impeller of the dust collector and it helps lengthen the uh, time you have to change the bag and the time to clean the filter because the top filter is a one micron bag and honestly all you have to really do is just blow it off but it prevents you from getting to that point and who wants to change that bag I'd rather just take the lid off and empty this so this is the reason for this video I'm going to show you what comes so what comes in this kit is you have adapters so here's one and these two go into the lid of your garbage pail or whatever you choose to use. Garbage pail is pretty cheap. The only thing that I have an issue with the garbage pail is like that's a 1200, 12 or 1100 CFM unit. I'm hoping and praying that when I turn on the unit and I run it through the garbage can that the garbage can doesn't go clop in on itself. If that happens, I'm gonna have to change my approach. I might have to put some, make some uh, plywood rings and brace it, cross bracing these plywood rings. I might have, I might have to do that. And the same the lid, the lid I might have to put a plywood ring on it so that way it doesn't collapse on itself. So this is what you get with a kit. It comes with bag of bolts. It comes with these two quick four four inch uh, connector or clamps. These two stick out of the lid. So essentially it's just the sandwich like this. So there's your lid, this goes in, and then your pipe goes onto this. So I'm gonna show you how to put it in, or uh, put it on. Oh, and on added, I got some um, weather stripping sealer, foam sealer thing, just to prevent leaks, hopefully. We'll see how this goes. Uh, I haven't watched anything else or anybody else do this, so this is gonna be new for me. So I'm going to get started with this. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to mark out where you want these. Now according to the sheet, it says to keep the flange about two inches away from your edge. That's pretty easy on this because that's pretty much a garbage can lid. It's in the meat beefy part and you want them to be staggered that will create the cyclone and separation effect. So I'll show you what I mean. This is roughly what you do. You put them right across from each other, facing opposite directions. Whichever is gonna be your feed, doesn't matter. Um, one feed will go in and then it just, it's really cool how it works. Um, the cyclone, the dust depth that I have, for my shot back. It's so cool how it works, I love it. So I wanted to do something like this so that I can save stuff like that. So I'm going to, I'm gonna go, oh. Yeah, so they come with these little templates. So you get this template, you tape it on or trace it or uh, most people will cut this, this hole out. I'm not gonna do that because I have a four inch hole saw. Not many people have four inch hole saws. I do. And that's pretty much how I'm going to cut these holes. Uh, the only thing I'm gonna use these templates for is maybe hole layout. And then your holes itself, when you drill them through, uh, I found that a, what is a seven, seven thirty seconds drill bit will give you a nice clearance hole for the holes. 
So let's get started. I'm going to tape these on and I'm going to show you how I hole saw it. You could jigsaw it. You could drill holes throughout the whole thing and you can just take a jigsaw and it, depending on what you have, sometimes you can even exacto knife it. I don't suggest it, but it's another option. So I'm going to get it set up. I'm going to show you what it is. So this is what we roughly have. We have it so that way these things are positioned like so. They're going to be opposites, obviously. So one's going to go this way, one's going to go this way. That's the way it should look. And like I said, it all depends on how you want to cut it out. I am using a hole saw. So let's get through, through this. Make sure there's nothing underneath it. Otherwise, you're just going to damage whatever you're doing. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to drill the marked holes. They got marked holes on there. You can see that? Yep. With our 7 30 seconds drill, so I'm going to drill those and then we can somewhat put it together. See what it looks like. And these are just clearance holes, so it's not really crucial. You will open them up just a little bit if you're out of alignment or whatever the case may be. So I'm going to clean these up and I'll come back and I'll show you what. So, one side is cleaned up and installed. Pretty cool. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, and I didn't notice until I opened up the bolts, is that they come with two bolts that are different lengths. So for me, for instance, I'm putting it into a garbage can lid, and it's got contours in it. This will make up some of the difference. Or if you put it in, say, one of these, uh, the paper ones with the flat lids, then you can use the small ones. Anyways, so a good idea to do, especially, well, regardless, a good idea to do is to put some weather stripping around one of the outlets or inlets, one of the two. Um, this one has it on the top because all the contours on this one are mainly on the top. So that's what I'm doing. I, I have that and I'm going to put it in and it's a little bit so this is what it should look like opposites weather stripping it seats pretty good so I'm happy with that it actually seats really good so what uh, do uh, if you like this video so far like subscribe leave me a comment uh, share it around Hit the bell notification, all that fun jazz. And um, I will show you the first startup with that. And let's see if it's not going to be epic fail. Okay, it's all connected. And I'm going to fire this thing up and see what it does. So, fingers crossed. Just move it just a little bit. Pretty good. Now I'm going to do underneath the table so I can see. Uh there is dust. Just dust. In the uh, thing itself. And in here, that's a pretty good result. That is pretty successful. I think this is gonna be very, very good thing for me. Uh, especially when I run the planer and the bandsaw and stuff like that. It's going to save a lot on my dust. 
Now I was doing table saw, so there is a lot of dust in that, but you saw in that clip that there was a lot of stuff in the barrel and not too much made it into the actual bag. So I think it's a good success. Um, it didn't collapse the barrel, so that's another good success. I was that would have been good footage if it kind of collapsed on itself, but yeah. So I'm happy. Uh, success. Now I have some really good. So just a note: this uh, I used it all day on my miter saw, cutting up all the crap, and I have found that it is not as good as first discovered and it's interesting so it separates good initial so when you suck up stuff it separates it pretty good from the bag to the barrel but if you start sucking up like little stuff like say miter miter saw when you're cutting stuff like that um, what I found is that it sucked everything out of the barrel into the bag so nothing has changed from what I showed you other than there was a little bit more so you see what's in the bag, actually quite a bit. And then you look in the barrel, which used to be a lot more, and it just sucked it all out. So that doesn't help me. That does not do anything for what I want to do. So it was a cheap fix, sort of. Um, yeah, it, it's a fairly decent sized barrel. Like it's a, a, what is it, 30 liter? Oh, it's a good size. It's not a, a, a full size uh, garbage pail, but it's pretty close. And my, my collector just sucked it all up. So I'm going to have to spend a little bit of money and get a cyclone like my desk de deputy over there. That's going to be my solution. I thought the $30 Amazon thing would have been good because I've seen it there. Um, Lee Valley has something similar to it. So I thought maybe. So, sucks. So now I'm going to have to spend a little bit of money and get the cyclone. Oh well, it was a good test. Uh, so it, I wouldn't suggest it if you're looking to do the same thing I want to do because unless you have a weak collector like mine's uh, 1100 CFM, or CFM if you have say a six or seven hundred it might work it might not have enough power to suck it out of the barrel but it might just suck it right out okay so that's where I leave it um, hope you guys like it hope it uh, gave you information that you could use and See you next time.